Hi guys, today in this video, I will show you how to inherit or add fields in um, sale order report. So first of all, I want to tell you the <coughs> Odoo I'm using is Odoo 14. Uh, you can also use Odoo 14 or 15, code will be the same. And uh, I'm doing it with Visual Studio Code. <coughs> so let's start with. So uh, if you see, if you, if you go in any sale order. So this is the sale order here, choose any. And if we print here, or if you just go back and just choose sale order here, and the report will be added in the print action. So here, if we print the quotation or order, this is called sale order report. We can print from here in the form of PDF. So we can open it. So this is the report. This is the general generic report of sale order. We can see, we can download in PDF form. So let's suppose if you want to change in this report, what we, what we need to do. So let's suppose today, uh, you know, this quotation date is written here. Next to this quotation date, we just want to add another field, which is called, let's call it commitment date. So in every sale order, there is a field commitment date. So we want to show that commitment date here. So what we need to do. So let's start it. We go in Visual Studio Code now. So let's, so this is a module custom. I have had, got it here. So let's add a new folder, first of all, called reports. Okay, so we have got a reports folder now. And in this folder, let's add a new file. Um, let's call it um, sale underscore order underscore inherit dot XML. Okay. Uh, once we are adding any XML file, don't forget to add it in manifest file. So we just go in there, uh, manifest file. And in data, we just need to add reports, which is a folder name reports, and then uh, the next, the file name. So we can say, that just right click the whole file, copy it, and we can paste it here. So it's reports slash sale underscore order inherit dot xml and then comma so this is it so now we have added our file in our manifest file so let's go to this file okay let me just copy the code for that so let's yeah first of all we just need to copy um, this xml which is the standard write it in the xml file so this is here. Okay. And then I'll do. Uh, that's it. Okay. Now we just need to add the inherit code because we want to inherit the field on sale order report. So first of all, I want to show you that how to find that report. So if we go in Odoo, fold, Odoo, Odoo folder, this is a, a general Odoo folder. All the Odoo modules are here. So if we go in add-ons, and then we need to go in sale. If we go in sale, yeah. And then we need to go in report. And then in report, there will be a sale order uh, report or sale order template. Let's let's find it out. So this is the invoice report. This is a sale report template. Let's so this is it. This is called sale report template. Okay. Uh, uh, so the main thing we need here this template ID. This is report sale order document. We need to this this will be our inherit ID. So let's copy this. Okay, and we go in our file now and we start uh, coding. Okay, so 
we say template id this will be our template id name any name we can give here so what we say we say that report uh, sale underscore order um, inherit right okay after that uh, we just need to give inherit id and inherit id that will be the id uh, which we have just copy from the sale uh, report sale order report okay S but remember don't forget to give module name so because we need to tell from which re uh, which module it will inherit this id so we say that we have got it from sale the module name was sale right so sale dot report sale order document so this is this will be the inherit id so that's it after that uh, we just need to give x paths that where we want um, to add our uh, field so okay guys so we want to see or we need to go in the report of sale and we need to check that where we want our field to be in so uh, this is our report, the sale report template in Odoo uh, module, sale module. So I have just searched for quotation date. So if we, if you go in, if you go in um, here, and if we just print again the quotation, sale report. So I just want to show you that where we want to add that field. So that is quotation date after this yeah so what we do we go in our v code again and i have searched in sale report quotation date so this quotation date is here and the field field's name is doc dot date order so we want to add after this field so, so and this is div is tf okay so we just need to I just find the code for X path here. Okay. So I say X path, so any X path or with div. Let's copy it with div. So yeah, that code we just copied here. And I paste it in my file. Control V. Okay, guys. So we say that div uh, we say it's t if and the field was okay the field was uh, quotation let's let's find it again Okay, guys, uh, so in sale order report, we have seen that we want to add our field after this doc.date underscore order. So we copy this. And in our code, we just paste it here. Okay, now we have said that in X, X path, we want to add our field after this. Now we want to add our field. So just for the uh, decorative purpose i'm just adding a div class you can add any div class of your choice it's not compulsory that you have to add this uh, but i find it out on this kind of report this is a good class i use so this is called call auto call dash two mw dash 100 mb dash two okay uh, this is the div I would use. Um, in this div, I just want to make a label which is strong. I will use this strong here to make a label, and I would say the label name will be commitment date. Right? Um, okay, now it's time to add our fields. So I would say I will add it in paragraph. 
P and I will add it through span T field and I would say it's doc dot field name is commitment date underscore date or any field you want you can add okay let's run the code and we see uh, what has happened so we go in our v code we go in application <coughs> our module name is okay we upgrade the module and check if our code has worked upgrade oh okay we have got error so this is saying cannot be located in parent view div okay uh, let's do one thing we just go in sale report again okay let's do it with id so we find the code with id uh, so find the code with xpath So I find it with ID. Okay. So this is a code here with ID. Let me just find the small one. Okay. Let's do this one. Control C. Okay. Let's control V. Okay. The ID, what we say that we go in Dev where the ID is informations control C the ID is information and we do it inside okay uh, that so, so we say that copy our field or get our field inside this div I use the same div here strong doc dot commitment date I think spellings are right okay let's run this code again upgrade it that's it so we go in our sale order sales app and choose any sale order and print our report so before there was only one quotation date order date sorry and we want it after this commitment date so this is it we have got commitment date this is our um, label and why we have not got the data here because there was there is no commitment date set so this is it so guys you 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 have known now the how to add or inherit a field in sale order report so this is the complete process um, again I just recap it first you need to add a folder or if you don't want to add a folder, just add an XML file, name it, and then add it in manifest file. After that, you need to set the template ID name, any any name you can set, and in inherit ID, you can just give the inherit ID from where you are, you are inheriting. So in that case, that is report underscore sale order underscore document, which is the sale order report. And the module we are getting from sale dot. So this is the sale, dot, uh, sale module we are getting then xpath we need to give where we want to add our field so we have said that um, add it inside div which id is information and here we just added our field and this is it okay guys i hope you enjoy this video if you will if you have enjoyed this video please like it share it um, for more encouragement thank you so much bye